Hello everyone, I'm Emma and welcome back to the One Life Challenge. I can't believe we're almost at the end of the third season of this hardcore playthrough. We've got some very challenging mods going on and there has just been an update. If you want to play along, do check out the description for details on how you can get your hands on the mod pack too. But yeah, let's do this. I'm really glad we haven't got anything funky going on with the weather today. It is going to be the end of a season and we are going into winter next. However, there are going to be some crops in this mod pack, so look forward to that. If you have seen the previous attempt at the challenge, you'll be familiar with this already. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. We're still in fall, not winter. We'll accept this quest from Caroline. I should be able to get her a pumpkin. Oh, I forgot we actually started smoking some fish now. I don't know if I have a whole lot that I want to part with at the moment. So I won't smoke anything more just yet, just in case I get it wrong. I feel like I'm having to get my head a little bit more back into one life mode. And I can't even remember what I was doing last week if I'm honest. Seriously, what was I doing? Well, we have to go check the travelling cart today. We've got some money as well. I think the next big thing I wanted to save up for was Skull Caverns, which is kind of terrifying to think about. But I have faith in us. I think we've got a couple more attempts at getting some decent crops here. Let's have a look what we got going on. Garden bundle is spring, quality crops. We've got the eggplants. So that's going to be another spring job with the parsnips as well, but hopefully we might be able to get somewhere else on the corn. We did get one more gold corn. Okay, that's something. And we've got a new farming level. Oh my god, level four. What do I unlock? I think it's preserves jars, isn't it? I don't think there's anything here that I want to water. I'm not picking the flower just yet because of the honey. <gasps> Apricot, hello. You're new. I'll keep it around probably for Emily next year though. Oh my god, I just dug up a void essence. I've never seen that happen before. Must be the archaeology skill. We do have some extra spots left that I could plant in, so let's have a look if I've got anything that I can actually put, like, seed-wise. I have some mixed seeds, but it's not worth doing those, because if I get pumpkins, then they'll go to waste. Can't do the forage seeds yet, because I don't have them unlocked. I've got a couple of bok choy, though. Aw, oh, man, we're only on three out of five. Okay, well, we've got two more chances. I think I should be able to get another couple of harvests out of those corn. Oh, there's also my first void essence. I think I'll keep it, because the wizard does ask for one, and I just can't remember when that'll be. All right, seed wise, let's have a look. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've lost count. I have nine spaces free. Oh, 10 spaces if you count the one over there. 11? 11 in total. Hopefully I remember that. Actually, I could just put it on the to-do list that I've literally never used. Oh, I have. I have used it. I just don't need this reminder up all the time. Okay, uh, 11 seeds. Oh no, wait, 12, 13, 14, 14 seeds. Who knows if we're even going to be able to get any seeds from Pierre today or even Joja. But we'll go check the travelling cart first in case there's something a little bit more essential in there. Let's have a look. I mean, so far... <gasps> the blue jazz. I could get that for the garden bundle. Let me just double check before I spend the money. Yes. Actually, that would complete a whole bundle as well. I've got the tuna left for the quality fish, but I can't get that till next season, so I will wait on that. I think that's it, so let's just grab the blue jazz. Actually, I think we'll go donate it, like, right away. Whilst I'm on my way past, I will grab the quests. Oh, Clint wants corn, that's easy enough. Penny wants some mead. I wonder if I've got the stuff for that. I'm going to accept it anyway. I don't think I do, though. Either way. Wow, Abigail wants an acorn, that's easy. I've never seen a request for an acorn before, I don't think. Anyway, hello, Pierre. I would like... <gasps> Amaranth seeds. Oh my god, do I have time? Yes. Grabbing them all, and those are the only seeds that are for sale. Okay, 6 out of 14, so 8 to go. Let's go try Joja. And Joja's selling rubbish bok choy seeds. Um, I'm not going to get them. That's not worth it. Not worth it at all. I do have the home cooks bundle though, and there is flour for sale here. How much is it? 62. Okay, I'm going to buy it because it's only 12 of them. And it's going to take me some time to stockpile the amount that we need. <laughs> I did not check PS for flour though, so I will have a quick look. Hello. You don't have flour today, okay. That's... Fine, I guess. I should probably say hello to everyone. Actually, I can't remember if I've given any gifts out this week. Harvey's not got a single gift. I need to hurry up. I mean, it's saloon day, so I can just sort it then. Let's go get this bundle done first, though. As usual, I'll be donating all the ones that only make partial bundles for now. So chef's bundle, just the truffle to go. We've got another quality crop or our first set of quality crops. And then... Finishing the garden bundle. There we go. And what have we got in here? <gasps> a quality sprinkler. Okay. There's eight more spots that we have no seeds for, but that's fine. I guess the other part of me is thinking like, I could just plant the bok choys anyway because three gold is still more than no gold. And that I think is based on the most basic quality. So it could be a little bit more by the time I get like better quality ones, if I get better quality ones. Maybe I should. Just to use the spots up because it kind of feels wasteful at the moment. So I need 16 of those and that should do. Now, I mentioned right at the beginning of the video that there was just an update to the mod pack. I think, if I remember correctly, it was just a visual mod. 
I haven't figured out what it is yet. I guess I'll see if I notice. A lot of the time I don't notice things. So, um, you notice anything different, let me know. I'm sure May will also let us know. I also have a terrible feeling that these preserve jars are going to cost like 16 coal or something ridiculous. So perhaps some of our day should be spent in the mines dealing with that. Even if it does quite literally just end up in me doing nothing but killing dust sprites. Is that going to reach up there? I don't know. Yes, just about. Now the spring on the collection and now we should soon be all planted up again. Hopefully I have counted the amount correctly. I have not. I was one seed short. Oh well, that's fine. It's only one. Okay, it's dust sprite time. I'm trying to decide if I've got enough of everything that I need on me. I think I'm good. Maybe the bat wings and some of the slime can come with me. Oh, we've got quite a lot of coal up here, actually. Oh, the crab pots, I forgot. Get them refilled. Oh my god, only two fish. That's really upsetting. I guess I have gone back to normal bait, to be fair. Oh, I don't have enough stuff for monster musk, but we'll see how much coal we can come out with anyway. Maybe we even push on to floor 80 today? Actually, no. Food-wise, I don't know if we should. Oh no, I've just realised I've started eating forage and that could make me sick. Think I'm okay so far? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, decisions. I mean, technically I can still find dust sprites and bats on these floors, so we'll give it a go. And I mean, come on, look at all that iron. Floor 75, so far so good. Maybe you can't find dust sprites on these floors. I'm sure I've seen them before. In fact, I haven't really seen any bats either. Oh, I could really do without the ghost. Plenty of skeletons to go around. I do, the bone frags are pretty good money. I just realised, I said I can do several of the quests and then I just like never went to do them, so um, we're writing that off for today. <laughs> and yeah, look, there are dust sprites here. I knew it. Come on, floor 79. I ideally, I don't want to pass out down here. I don't want to lose the money. Oh, if that's what needs to be done, then obviously I will. Come on, skeleton. Give me the ladder. Damn it. No luck with the ghost either. Ooh, but there it is. What's our reward for floor 80? Please be something good. Please be something good. Oh, shadow dagger. I feel like that might be a bit too close combat for a one life challenge. It's also not really even, nope, it's not even better. Um, okay, I'm gonna sell that off. Obviously not today, because I think the Adventurer's Guild's probably closed now. And then I'm gonna take home like a good portion of this coal. Then we can find out, oh, I completely forgot about the monsters out here. Then we can find out how much we need for the preserve jars that are in our future. I completely forgot to refill my water as well, which is kind of annoying. Um, do I want to sell any of this? Like, no, not really. I mean, the bone frags can go. That's fine. I still have some water at the end of the day. I'm, I'm not exactly going to dehydrate completely. Now, let's get some sleep. Let's have a look. There's the unlocks, and then we'll have a look at the recipe in the morning. Oh, level 5 archaeology. Pioneer. Extra chances of artifact spot spawning. Dowser. Extra chances of panic spot spawning. That's difficult. I don't have panic unlocked yet, but then even when I do have panic unlocked, I kind of ignore them half the time. I'm going to go with artifact spots, because we have been finding some really cool stuff in there. I wonder if panning increases the archaeology skill then. I guess we'll find out. It's going to be a while till we find out. I haven't got the pan yet, but at some point. Got a nice rainy day, so actually it was a good thing that my canteens were empty, because they can go in there. I think it might soon, unfortunately, be time to do some fishing. I have been doing a lot of that recently, which, um, if you haven't seen the video, I'll leave it over in the corner. I just spent an entire in-game year doing that. I was embracing the fisher's life, but, I mean, it still needs to be done. I do still need to increase that skill. Ooh, there are actually quite a lot more artifact spots. I mean, so far, it is a Saturday. I feel like I always get a lot on a Saturday anyway. We did get another corn to add to the collection as well, so that's kind of huge. Wait, didn't I only harvest corn yesterday? Isn't there a mod that sometimes, like, grows the crops a stage? I, I, th I think that's a thing. Maybe I'll get lucky with the board today? No, I really should have taken advantage of that yesterday. That's fine, though. All right, maybe today, first of all, oh, yes. Preserved our recipe. Okay, 12 coal, so it's like 1.5 times. Do I have all the stuff for it? I do. I could make at least one. I can make three. That's actually pretty decent. Let's get a start to actually making some more money. We'll put it along the back of the house for now. I haven't really got anywhere else better to put it. What have I got a decent quantity of to put in there? I mean, not a whole lot, to be honest. And looking at the value of some of these, it's actually kind of upsetting how low some of these are. We now have a decent quantity of pickled corn. It just like, I feel like unless it's over 100 gold, is it really even worth it? Maybe the broccoli? Because pickled corn just doesn't seem worth it to me. We'll start with some broccoli. Now I just have to decide where I'm going to fish. I think it's going to be the river. If I had more than one item of fishing food, I would have taken some with me, but I don't. So we're just going to see how it goes without anything. I am hoping I can go and see Harvey today, though. Ah, there he is. I don't know why I thought he wouldn't be open today. Here you go, have a gift. Three hearts, we're getting somewhere. Slowly but surely. I mean, everyone else is not doing too great either. I wonder where we can find Electa. I wonder if she's going to be at the Witch Hut. I know that we've got a certain mod installed that changes the swarm area, but obviously we're a long way off doing that yet. Okay, well, let's take our place outside here. Actually, I'm going to go and check Marnie's bin first and then we'll come back. Well, I guess I better get to the fishing. 
<gasps> There's my first catfish! Oh my gosh, it's about time. I feel like I'm really late to the party with that one. It is full. The idea of doing that has been terrifying me and that really wasn't that difficult. Jewels of the sea. I think it is time to do a bit of reading. I'm gonna need that. Extra bit of fishing loot? I will take it. Actually, that's good timing because we just got preserves jars as well. Although I don't know how much worth it a lot of the fish row will be. Then again, it does mean that we don't have to worry about those kind of fishing items when it comes to perfection. Especially if I can get some sturgeon row in winter. Then I'm gonna have the caviar. That's kind of a big deal. I feel like for a bad luck day as well, I've actually had quite a few treasure chests. Obviously you just saw the book there, but I've also had like a diamond, a good few jades, some geodes. I mean that's mainly it, but that, that's still quite a lot of treasure for a bad luck day. And I'm not even done yet. <laughs> I want to at least get to level 6 fishing today. <gasps> there it is, with a catfish as well. Okay, let's go refill the crab pots and then we'll go home. Definitely time for some more sashimi soon. Or maybe some tortillas, I've got quite a lot of corn for that. Even though they don't give me anywhere as much hunger boost, it's still more than none and a lot of the fish I'm going to need now to do things like smoke them or basically anything else than turn them into sashimi. Let's have a look what's worth selling just as is so probably the shaz can go- actually I should probably check what's in my chest first. I also need an easy place to keep the fish that I want to smoke as well. I mean, I guess that'll be in here. Maybe I don't do the salmon anymore. I think I might just sell these straight for a little boost. Like, I already have some salmon in here for what I might need them for. It's kind of nice starting to see more ways that we are making money. I'm just going to move all the forage out of here because I don't really need it in here anymore. Now I just need to find some fish for sashimi. So, if I just grab a little assortment that I'm happy to part ways with. This should do me nicely for a little while. 17 more sashimi, there we go. Varying quality as well. Wait, why don't they stack? Hello? I'm so confused. Some of them give me even more hunger now. I mean, I shouldn't complain, but now I've got three whole slots taken up by sashimi. All right, let's go to bed. Hey, we've got the bait maker recipe. I'm trying to think what I need that for next. Probably squid fest. Or I could just use it anyway, since I don't fish as much for more valuable fish. Level 2 cooking as well. Ooh, mushroom rice, spring onion soup, fries and ketchup. Oh my god, more recipes. And a few hundred gold, not very much at all. <laughs> That's okay though, because we know a lot of the fishing income will come later with smoking the fish. It's also Robin's birthday today. Oh no, it's hailing, can it not? I'd rather it didn't. <laughs> really rather not deal with that today. That's a shame, oh well. Got plenty of food to heal me. Check the crop cave and we have another fairy rose ready and an eggplant. I mean it's something. Oh there's a broccoli down there too. Just grab it and go. Run. What am I going to do indoors today? I always forgot an eggplant as well. Oh there's actually quite a few fairy roses. I am going to pick them. Another apricot. If I can get a peach today that would also be nice but I, I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. No that doesn't. That didn't work out. I'll see if I've got something else for Robin. Wait why does it matter? It's going to be treated in neutral anyway. <laughs> I just realised. Before I leave the farm, let's check for quests. So, copper ore mining. Corn again, we can do that. Robin wants some wood, that's easy enough to do, even though she never actually takes it. Pam wants some wheat. And we do have a couple of displays, but obviously I'm not doing them. Right, the wood is sorted. I don't know if I actually need to keep it with me. I am going to anyway, just in case. But I really don't think I need it. Then I need to do a wheat and a corn, and I'll bring an extra wheat for Harvey as well. Maybe we'll go open all our mystery boxes too. Given the weather, I probably am going to have to run today just to, like, not die in the hail. But so far, it's only taking off, like, one HP at a time, which I'm, I'm not that worried about. Ooh, seafoam pudding. Could I do with that? I mean, it's a thousand gold, though. I need to save my money. Nothing community centery anyway. Uh, although, a thousand gold for a seafoam pudding, I feel like that's pretty good value. That's how much it costed at... No, wait, doesn't it cost five grand? I think it's five grand at the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Okay, I'm going to pick it up. I'm probably going to regret not doing it. Oh, and I forgot to get Robin a birthday gift. Oh, so she can always have some sashimi. Actually, no, that's way too valuable. I'll give her some corn. Corn's neutral, right? Most people don't mind some corn. <gasps> I think we've got our first two oak resin. Oh, I really need to make some more tappers, actually. We need 10 to just make that one display table thingy. Because at this rate, we're not going to be making it till spring, which is way too long. I'm so glad Robin is home. Here you go. Happy birthday. Have some corn. I, I mean, I, got I brought the wood too, which you aren't taking, but that's okay. Either way, it's extra cash. Maybe I should go do a couple of vault bundles now just to tick them off and then I physically cannot spend the money. I think that might be a shout. Actually, I'm a little bit gold short, so I guess first of all, I need to figure out where I'm going. It'll be Pam and Alex. Yes. And make sure we get them the right way around. Alex, here's some corn. There you go. There's some extra gold. And then... Where is Pam? Pam's at home too. Wheat for Pam. <gasps> Price ticket. Okay. Let's see what's in there. Actually, before I go and spend the money on the vault bundles, I'm... Gonna ask Clint to open my mystery boxes. I should probably be having a drink of water as I go along as well. And um, whilst we're in the safety of a home, let's have some sashimi. 
What's our prize ticket? Ooh, a fishing book. Is that an XP book? Oh my god, we've got Star Drop Tea next as well. Gain fishing experience. I am reading that right now. Now let's see if we get anything good in these boxes today. Farm totem, that's decent. Uh, another farm totem, uh, I guess that's still decent. More farm totems, what? Hello? Okay, something that's not a farm totem, thank you. Speed grow, that's useful. Some flower seeds for spring. And then a fish taco, okay, some fishing food. That, that wasn't too bad, the farm totems at the start were kind of funny. But that last one, I was like, surely not a third time. <laughs> I will just go check Pierre's because I think it's my last chance to get in like a couple of different types of seeds. So let's see. Pierre has sunflowers. No, that's not going to happen. I suppose I could use a few of these flower seeds. Although I can't remember how long Fairy Rose has taken. I think it's a little bit too long. I think Harvey stays home on a Sunday. Yes, he does. Here you go. Have some more wheat. I wonder what he's doing with all this wheat. Like imagine just being given some like fresh unprocessed wheat and being like, um, yeah, cool. I don't know what to do with it though. Kind of a weird gift. I feel like this rain is hurting a little bit less than I thought it would, so I think I am actually going to stick outside and chop some trees down. We could do with the wood. Like, I definitely need another chest, because this is a little bit out of hand. Is this the regular slingshot? Oh my god, I don't need that. Should I get the master one? I'm assuming it's up there. If not, I'll just have to buy another one. I think I'll just sell off the herbal medicine as well. It's not worth it to me. All I really want today is enough stuff for one tapper and one chest. And the other wood is just a bonus. <gasps> got a woody secret. Oh, and another mystery box too. Wait a minute. Is this just foraging XP? Oh, fell trees have a 5% chance to yield double the wood. Much needed. Even if it is a really small chance. All right, I think that's as much wood chopping as I want to do today. So let's make everything we need to make. And that would be one tree tapper and one chest. I think that chest I'm going to put over here. I hope that's the right call anyway. And that chest is going to contain all of my cooking items and also community center items. Just got to make sure I put them all in the correct chest because wouldn't that be funny if I accidentally shipped them? Maybe I'm tempting fate a little bit by putting it right next to the shipping bin. I'm sure it'll be fine. I was really hoping there'd be another oak tree out here. I guess there isn't. Oh no, there is. There's one down here. Have a tap. And before going to bed, I will just pop into the Adventurer's Guild and sell off some of my spare stuff. Oh, I should have brought... I think there's a bone sword at home. That's right, I'll get that next time. Need a new sword? I mean, yes and no. I kind of want to just sell my old stuff to you. Here you go. Ooh, and then maybe now's the time to go back and do those vault bundles. I'll be left with a few hundred gold. However, there are some things in the shipping bin, so I will make some money back. Plus, slaying monsters always helps with getting some extra cash. Okay, bundles, what we got? So, two and a half grand. That's going to get me some chocolate cakes. I might just sell those. And then the five grand bundle, which gives me quality fertilizer, which I might be able to make use of next year. Also got our last fish to smoke as well, that's kind of huge. Been through all of them already. Can't believe how quick we've blasted through all the fish. I do need to make sure I'm starting to keep slime now as well for monster musk and such, so I won't be getting rid of those. Uh, should I get rid of some of these mushrooms? Why not? And now that all of our fish are done- oh, let me get something in the keg. Kind of a waste not having anything going on in there. Wait a minute, someone did ask for mead the other day. Do I have any honey? I don't know if I kept any. I think I have only just got the bee house, so maybe not yet. What have I shipped so far? It looks like I've not shipped jelly. Wait, why does that matter? It's a keg. I've shipped wine and I've shipped juice, so it really doesn't matter. Oh, I could do beer. Let's do some beer. Let's see how much money we made today. Okay, we made about one of the bundles at least. That's something. Okay, we're now officially into our final week of fall. Oh, I completely forgot about the Iridium Rod, I think. That rings a bell. I think I said I wanted to spend my money on that next. That's okay though. Now it will be next. Because that can help me technically towards more money for the vault. I can use a bobber, it will help me fish better. Let's have a look in here. Oh no, I forgot the hail destroys so many crops. That's upsetting. Well, come on, give me another gold cord. Oh my god, yes. Okay, I feel so much better. Now we just have to worry about parsnips in spring and that's going to be easy enough. We've got this, it's all going to be okay. So what do I need to do today? I'm guessing I probably should fish again, really. I hate to say it. Although, do I have much bait? I've got 49 bait. I think that'll do for now. And this time I'll actually bring the smoker with me. Get them all processed as we go along. Let's go by the beach as well so we can swap out the crab pots down there. I know we've got some down there. It's just going to take me so long to get through the crab pot fish otherwise. Oh, there's forage down here too. I could sell this directly to Willy, actually. Oh my goodness. Got a new shirt. Should I wear this? I think this is leaning too far into the leprechaun vibe. Maybe not. <laughs> Did I keep bait down here? Yes, I did. That's all good. Oh, I still haven't fixed the bridge. Oh, wait, I don't need to. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh, I haven't been swimming in ages. Maybe I should do that too. Might find some treasure in the sea. I think I mainly want to fish over by the mountain lake if I fish. Let's have a look in the chest. Oh, some bait. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Not amazing. It's just fine. 
Hold on a minute, there's a midnight squid there. Why is there a midnight squid? I can't usually get them, right? Oh no, this is just a mimic. That's not going to give me anything. Wait, there are blobfish as well? Hang on a minute. Maybe I should try fishing here. Or is this a bug? One way to find out. Oh, we actually hit the bubble spot. That'd be great. I just don't feel like they're actually going to be there. I don't know though. I mean, this is where the submarine would roughly be in the winter. I mean, I did get an albacore, although I think they belong. I don't know. I, what What is going on? I kind of want to fish here long enough to find out. I just realised as well, there should be new requests today. Should probably check those also. I've done the fishing ones now, so I don't need to worry about that. Wait, have I done the fishing one? I can't remember which ones I've done. Maybe I haven't. I'm getting so mixed up. I mean, so far, no sign of the submarine fish. Maybe I need to try fishing further out. I also need to make room. Eh, uh, I should be alright for a little while. I haven't even really got anything that's worth putting in the smoker just yet either. Alright, let's sell off some of this stuff to Willy anyway. Then we'll see how far off we are. So, maybe I should keep a few sardines. I'll sell some. Clams can go for now as well. I kind of don't want to part with anything else. Maybe the sardine row. And then yeah, I just feel kind of wrong not checking the special requests. So we're going to do that first. Oh, maybe I should fish by the river for the tiger trout. I'll do that. A thousand stone in a week or salmon. Let's do the salmon. Because we're going to fish in the river anyway. I wonder if Harvey likes sashimi. I'll give it a go. Okay, that works as an emergency gift. Harvey's the only one worthy of the sashimi though. Let's plop this down somewhere it's not going to get whacked. And then yeah, I don't think I have anything I want to bother putting in the smoker just yet. It's just not worth it. There's our first salmon. Actually, the gold ones are these I can smoke. They're not too bad. It could be worse and I don't need to keep hold of them. Well, so far, still only that one salmon. I'm really hoping I do catch more today. I know I've got a whole week to do it, but I don't want to spend my whole week fishing. As much as some of you might believe that. Got a little bubble spot to help us. I have got one more salmon. Is this going to be another? No. They go away at seven, so at least I do have a time that I will just like leave the area. I think tiger trout go away at that hour too. There's three. Really not worth me smoking any unless they're gold quality though, so uh, they're just going to stick around in my inventory for now. Oh, a tiger trout will be worth it though. Oh, the bubble spot's gone. That's alright, it helped a little bit. Got another tiger trout, but I'm gonna save that until I get home to smoke because of the hour that it is at the moment. Oh, do I even really have any room for that? No, I think I'm gonna have to smoke it now. But you've got very limited space in my backpack. I suppose I could drink the Georgia Cola, but that is taking a bit of a risk. Please be a salmon. I'm begging you. Is it gonna be? And another small mouth bats. We caught so many of those today. All right, 20 minutes on the tiger trout. I will try and catch one more fish. Once that's done, we're gonna go home. So I've got a very full backpack. It's a bream, oh no. Okay, well, drinking the Georgia Cola. And it made us sick, of course it did, okay. Sashimi will fix that. Let's go home. I'm wondering if it's time to start selling off like even just one or two of the artifacts. Have I got anything that I've got like a few of? I mean, no. No, I've already been doing that, haven't I? All right, never mind. Ignore quite literally all of that. I think it's just time to go to bed. Well, make some sashimi, then go to bed. What is that? Another 1100, almost 1200. At least we're over halfway there now to the Iridium Rod. Ooh, first beer. Let's get that in the shipping bin. 110 gold. Not horrendous. Could be better though. Also our first pickle, so let's see if I've got any fruit to switch out to jelly. I would usually do hot pepper jelly, it just seems kind of terrible. I really didn't get that much fruit this season at all. I mean, like, this entire year. Maybe I'll do another beer to do that with as well, although I can just buy one. They're easy enough to get hold of. In that case, let's do some mead. Might be a bad luck day, but I do have quite a few crops to harvest. Do I want to grab them today or do I want to wait? No, I'm going to grab them because thinking about it, the hail might come along again and destroy some. So um, let's just pull them all out of the field, except for the fairy rose for the honey. That can chill. Now, I wouldn't mind seeing if I can make another water filter. Where is it? Wood, driftwood and fibre. I should have the stuff for that, actually. The driftwood I've been using. Oh no, wait, can't I use hardwood as well? Is there a version of that that uses... No, okay. Maybe I might get lucky about the mines though. The reason I say that is because at the moment I feel like my bottleneck when it comes to water is, I mean, first of all, obviously I could do with more canteens, which speaking of, I wonder if Clint's asking for any copper today. He's not, but we do have some other quests, some of which are decently easy enough to do. Why are you asking for wild horseradish in the fall? I mean, I guess it makes sense if they're out of season if someone's got one spare. Let's do some of those. Anyway, what, where was I going with that? Oh yes. Obviously I need some copper to be able to make some more canteens, but also even filtering them takes ages, so maybe I should work on that. I was hoping for some driftwood here, didn't have any luck, and I was about to say something else and I completely forgotten what it is. 
Either way, I think another prize ticket will be worth our time today. Even if I think the next thing, I think it's Star Drop Tea actually, which will be good for birthdays. And it'll move towards more other types of rewards as well. So what have we got? It was an eggplant, a geode, and a horseradish. I'm gonna walk today because I don't exactly have a load of thirst. Oh, let's go donate this to the museum as well. Only thing is with Sebastian, I think he's gonna be in his room for a while, isn't he? Actually, whilst there's a bubble spot, let's take advantage of it because then if I can get the four chub done, that's an extra quest done. Okay, just a carp in the bubble spot's gone. It was not meant to be. Yeah, he's in his room and I can't get in. I think it's going to be a while until he's out, right? I'll look up his schedule shortly, but if it's like 12... Oh, here he comes. I'll have a drink while I'm waiting. Here's your geode. 99 gold. It's actually not bad for a geode. Who is it next? Lewis wanted the horseradish. Who wanted the eggplant? I think it was Emily. No, it was Elliot. Fingers crossed he's actually accessible today. Oh, he's at the library, which is actually really convenient because I need to go there anyway. Here you go, Elliot. Delivery in the library. It's only 30 gold though. That was rubbish. It's all right. I'm mainly in it for the tickets and the friendship. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wait. Hang on. I completely forgot to donate the thing to the museum. You know, half the reason I actually went there in the first place. Let's slap that over here. Oh, new reward. Is it going to be anything good though? Rare crow. Okay, I'm grabbing that. Still no luck on the driftwood down here. We did give it a go. Didn't I see that Robin? Doesn't Robin sometimes sell driftwood? Not that it matters. Ooh, should I buy some bait? I probably should actually. There's not that much of it. And I do need it. Hopefully Lewis is still around somewhere for his horseradish. I don't know why I thought he was in Harvey's. Maybe Pierre's? Of course he is. Marnie's in the exercise class and he's got to be creeping. Here you go. And there's a prize ticket too. Let's grab that star drop tea. And then I did say I didn't think I was going to fish today, but I think I've changed my mind. I do just want to get these salmon just like over and done with. I probably should have brought the few bits of wild bait I had actually. That would have been really helpful. And you might notice I didn't bother with the smoker. First of all, there's only- oh, another salmon. There's only a few hours left until they despawn for the day. By the time I get back, it's just not going to be worth it anymore. But also, obviously yesterday I came back with what, like three fish that I could smoke for the entire day compared to the amount I caught. Not worth the inventory space. Okay, well I added another three salmon to the couch, so that's actually not too bad. Four more to go. Oh, and I'm hungry. I should probably eat. Actually, before I go home, I should probably refill the canteens too, because I have just drunk them both. Grab some river water, and then make our way home. Ooh, there's our mead. Let's get that sold off. Oh my god, 35 gold. Worth like no money at all. I guess we'll just go back to making juice, but what would actually be worth it? Maybe some yam juice, actually. That's not too bad. Let's see how much closer we got today. I don't think it's actually going to be that much. Ah, uh, okay, it's quite a lot more than I thought. That's not too bad. I completely forgot about the pickles I think we sold today or yesterday. How are we looking? I can't remember how much money it costs. I think it's like seven and a half grand. We still have a little bit to go, but also we got George's birthday. What am I going to give him? I think I'll just go with the usual wheat as the universal neutral gift. Do you know what? Let's maybe sell off some of these crops. I don't really need to keep this many of some of these things. Get some extra cash. Also, we've got the two tiger trout from yesterday too. And unfortunately, I'm going to need to go fish for those salmon again. I'm just a little bit worried because I am running out of bait. Oh, I've got loads of bug meat. Hang on. We can make some more. Oh, and I completely forgot about the gift for George. Oh, I had it, but I think I accidentally put it away again. Good morning, George. Happy birthday to you. Get out of here and do more fishing. <laughs> So much fishing this week. Oh wow, a chocolate cake. That's kind of wild. <gasps> driftwood! Oh my gosh. I can make another water filter soon. I think I've got another driftwood at home. That's exciting. All right, let's see if we can get this last four salmon today. Please, I'm begging you. So far so good. We're on two out of four for the day. I will say though, with the amount of salmon that I'm like, you know, not catching, I feel like Demetrius might be a little bit wrong about the population problem. I don't see a problem. In fact, the problem is in the opposite direction. There are not enough salmon in the water. Unless they're meant to be rare, like super rare. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't feel like it's overpopulated at all. <gasps> is that the last one? Please be the last one. Oh, thank goodness. How much did we get for that? 250 gold? I'm actually really upset about that. <laughs> I just did that for 250 gold. That's the price of like four salmon. I feel like that wasn't even worth it. Whatever, we've done it now, and I, we, we got a ticket, it's fine. Just I could have done the other quest that would have given me the same crafting recipe. You know, the one that says like 20 out of a biome, that, that would have been a lot better. Tears, all the tears. I was going to say blood, sweat and tears, but like, let's be honest, it really is just all tears. And literally all I've got to show for it is this stupid cow sticker. Oh, I need to make room for it even. We caught all that salmon and all the other fish for a cow sticker. Not impressed, can you tell? All right, whatever, let's just um, get some more fish smoking. I do have an absurd amount of 
algae. Maybe I should sell some. And oh, let's make our next filter. Oh, I forgot to refill the canteens again. Oh my god, you idiot. Wood and fibre? Is that everything I need? Filter number three. At least we've got one to put in there for now. In that case, let's go check out the crab pots and maybe what I should do today is hunt for more bugs. If I can get some more bug meat for bait, that's going to be a win. I would have grabbed the copper as well, but I kind of forgot my pickaxe, so I'm just going to live without it today. Alright, 16 bug meat is pretty decent. We got another 40 bait out of that. I'm going to have to leave some here for the crab pots, definitely. We need another 30 to 15 to go on the rod. And then we'll walk home so that we can slay some more monsters. I just realised I left a load of things in the storage in the mine, so I'm going back for that. <laughs> Maybe we do just do the bus stop route home then. It was not meant to be. Oh, I didn't even realise I levelled up in combat today. Um, I think we're going to go with fighter. It just feels right. And I wonder if that's actually enough for that rod now. We might actually be there. Now the bookseller's in town, I just don't think that's worth it. Oh, we've got dry lightning today. I mean, that's fine. That doesn't really harm us in any way, I don't think. Or at least it hasn't so far. Oh my god, two and a half grand from the mayor. We can definitely afford the rod now. And here's the farm computer. I'm not really fussed about that farm computer. I feel like I rarely ever make use of it. And what we got in here? Oh, the pumpkins. I'm going to grab those before they get destroyed by anything. Can't let anything happen to my precious pumpkins. Plus a couple more crops as well. I will keep hold of the sunflower seeds. We can use them next year. And then I guess the decision is if I want to ship any of these vegetables straight. I mean, maybe we'll do a couple. I'm not sure there's any point in keeping quite literally all of them. There's also a lot of purple mushrooms and considering I can't eat them without, you know, getting hurt, I'm happy to part ways with a few. Trying to decide if I just want to walk down to the beach or if I will walk. Wow, that's a lot of acorns as well. Hang on a minute. Let's uh, let's sort through some of these seeds. Kind of a lot of money in here. Gonna need a bit of a top up after we buy that rod a little bit later. And what about the billboard? Oh, there's loads of stuff. Magma geode. Some slimes we can do pretty easily. 10 coal for Clint. Might manage that. I wonder if I can get that from Dust Sprites for him. We do have one simple delivery though. Okay, guess we're going to the mines. I should be able to handle this pretty easily. That is if there are any monsters around, where are they all? I don't think I've still got enough stuff for a monster musk again yet. Alright, there's a dust sprite, so let's see if this will count towards our coal gathering. Yes, okay. That makes life so much easier. Really noticing a huge lack of dust sprites today. What is going on? Oh, there's some. Sometimes I just need to call it out, you know? And over there should be my last frost jelly for, I think it's for Lewis. There it is. Oh my god, look at all those dust sprites. That is exactly what I want to see. Come on, I just need three more coal. Oh, I spied a diamond over there too. Oh my goodness. That didn't go well, please. No, oh my god. Four dust sprites, one piece of coal, that's rubbish. This is harder than I thought. Oh, hang on. This floor, this has got to be the one. It has got to be, there are so many. Please, please. One more coal, I just need one. I mean, I need more than one. Like, you know, overall. You, come back here. There it is. Uh, and I think I'm going to ignore the rest because I have to get around town. I have quite a few stops to make. First to Clint. 450 gold is actually quite a bit. Now we can get our fishing rod from Willy. Iridium rod, seven and a half grand. Still plenty of money left over as well, which is nice. Oh my god, is that a whole rhubarb pie? Yes, it is. Lewis, I took care of the slimes. That was another few hundred. And then is Maru still inside there? I think she is. I might have to wait for her to come out. Because obviously after 3 p.m. I can't get inside, which is really annoying. In fact, whilst I wait for that, let me go and refill my canteens. She can't be too long now, surely. Oh, there she is. And here is your magma geode. Thank you very much. And also, thank you for the ticket. That's huge. 300 gold. Sweet. So we made like over a grand today just from requests, which is nice. And then I can't remember what the ticket item is today, I think. Ah, so it's only used this time, but the four bee houses are actually going to be kind of nice. Shame we're going into winter, but they'll be good, like, you know, in just over a month. And finally we make it home. I did walk so it did take a fair amount of time. And actually I feel like I have been getting quite a few ores recently so I'm wondering if I've just accidentally been putting them in here. Okay, well it's a lot less than I thought but there are some. Not gonna worry about that right now though. I might just allow myself the early night. Oh my god, level 6 spinning. That means we can open the gold trash cans now. Where have I seen gold ones? There's one in the forest and there's one I think at the beach. I'm trying to remember where other gold ones are. Ooh, we got quite a bit of money as well from the stuff we shipped today completely forgot as well that today is a rainy day so i didn't need to refill all my canteens but that's okay we can always do a clean water all right let's move on to some pickled pumpkins how much is this jelly worth i mean 70 gold that's actually not too bad i need to ship them anyway and i will keep one just in case also the rhubarb pie can go too 
Oh, and we got a cloth as well. I feel like I keep keeping this just in case I need it. I don't know what I need it for. Like, I don't foresee myself building the mill. I'm probably just going to buy all the ingredients, but that's, you know. I'll keep it because I can always sell it later. I can't unsell an item. I just realised as well, when I last fished, was I fishing with my old rod? No, because I only bought it yesterday and I haven't fished yet. I've got my first tackle to put on there as well. I don't know what to do with this old rod. I guess I'm just going to throw it away. Taking up a slot for literally no reason. Let's have a look what's going on in here. So we've got some corn ready again. Some honey. Last two pumpkins. It's getting kind of bare in here now. Oh, the amaranth. Okay, let me go get my scythe. That's actually a big deal because that's a new crop for us. We haven't grown any of that yet. I don't think I need it for that many recipes. I think it's only one. But I'm still going to play it safe and I'll keep most of them. But I've got to give one to Marnie and I'll ship one. Maybe today we get rid of some of these as well. I'll build a coop. That's just not going to happen. So I'm wondering if maybe if I give away this amaranth, if that's going to take us over two hearts, where is Marnie? Ooh, okay. We're, we're not that far off. Maybe I should bring her an actual gift as well. Before I do anything though, I'm going to go check the traveling cart. We have some cash to spend. I'm hoping for a truffle. Oh, there is truffle oil. I'm going to need that later. Although, didn't I find that at the shops as well? I don't really need it that much. Do I need the duck feather? What do I even need? Hang on. These things are going to be really easy for me to solve next season. So I think it's it's pretty much just the truffle that I need from the cart. Everything else is like a quality, so I have to get myself or it's like soon enough that I don't have to worry. So I'm leaving myself a reminder just in case I do this every single time. Like, what do I need? And now I know what I need. Marnie, I come with gifts. So first of all, if we give the actual gift gift, here you go. And then here is some amaranth. And that's crossed over the two heart boundary. Oh my god, 500 gold. That's a lot of money for that too. We'll grab the shorts because that's going to be even more. Should probably bring those straight to Lewis. Pretty decent reward for returning some underwear. I mean, it's kind of gross. I would expect to be paid well for something that disgusting. And now hopefully Caroline is hanging out at home, especially in this weather. There she is. I know that Abigail's probably going to see, but here you go. We are now two hearts with Caroline, so I could go get the tea sapling recipe. I don't expect to be making really any money from tea saplings. Wait, did I already have this? Oh, well, I've got the tea leaves now. I should probably come in here tomorrow as well. Yeah, I need to do that. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully I remember we've got two more days left of the season. I'm going to ship this one tea leaf because that is easy enough. And then with tomorrow's, we'll make some tea. Now, how am I going to utilize the rest of this day? Well, it is only just about midday. I'm wondering if I pop into the mines because it's a decently good luck day. I feel like it just makes sense to today. Just realized as well I completely forgot to bring the bone swords and the oars again, but that's okay. All right, let's do this. See if we can get down another reward floor. Maybe I try and avoid the monsters actually because I'm, I'm still kind of weak. And also, you know, not wanting to die. Literally a case of wanting to spend minimal times on these floors. I will be doing my absolute best to completely avoid any void spirits. They are just not worth the risk. I'm gonna avoid using staircases if I can. I feel like I never really entertain the idea when it comes to just getting down the floors for the first time. I don't know why. I guess it's partly what they're there for. I could really do without the swarm though. Although I do need the bat wings, so maybe this is a good thing. All right, swarm over, still no ladder. I'm really praying that the ladder isn't over there. <gasps> there it is. Of course it's right next to the entrance. Why wouldn't it be? Right, in that case, let's get some gold and some copper smelting, and then I'll carry on. Five floors so far. I feel like, obviously, because my pickaxe is now underpowered, it is taking a lot more hunger and thirst to get down there. Hopefully it's going to be worth it today. Let's see what these shadow brutes are like. Um, okay, that I had nothing to worry about. I really overthought that. I still wouldn't want it to hit me, but that wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. I am a little bit worried about the sheer amount of monsters there are on this floor, so I am going to have to take it slow and steady. Oh my god, this has got to be the last floor before an elevator, surely. <gasps> I could do without being slimed. Nope. I might be panicking. Okay, never mind. No need to panic. We have a way out. There are, however, loot crates that I kind of want to smash. And there was literally nothing in them. Okay, that wasn't even worth it. Ow. Get off me. I did just have to panic eat a load of sashimi because a slime basically got stuck to me. Thanks to the slowdown. I kind of regret going for those crates now, but we made it. It's fine. What did we get? An obsidian edge. Let's have a look if that is any better. 15 to 67. I think that's kind of worth it. I'm going to use it. So let's grab some extra cash for these bits of... What are they? They're weapons. That's what they are. Good grief. Then I think I'm going to head on home. Marnie, it's way too early for you to be here and ask me stuff, but I've, I've got plenty of cave carrots. I can bring you some cave carrots. Really good luck day today. What are we going to do with this really good luck day? Ooh, pumpkins. I thought we were done with pumpkins. Oh, I'm really happy about that. Grab all of those right now and the corn. Honey's not going to be done in time, so I am just going to pick the fairy rose now. 
Oh my god, that's so many crops. In that case, uh, I'm gonna bring these straight to Pierre and sell them to him. Then I can buy the 10 grand bundle, because I'm only three gold away from doing that anyway. I'm not gonna bring the cave character money just yet. I don't know why, I just don't really feel the need. Maybe it is another day to push down in the mines? Because I do have to do something until- oh wait, Spirit Sea's been set up so I can't go to Pierre. I couldn't even go to the community centre today anyway so I might as well just ship these. Okay, well, let's go to the mines. And even then, I couldn't even give the cave character money because she'd be a lot too, I think. Actually, that being said, I could go see what the gold trash can's gonna give us. I haven't done that yet. I'll grab a... Um, I'll grab a mountain totem and then we can go straight to the mines after. Let's see what the hat mouse is hiding in the trash. Quite literally nothing. There is another gold can at the beach, but uh, I mean, I could go to the beach. I could use a beach totem and then a mountain totem to get out or a farm totem. I have done it before. I've got stuck at the beach all day because I forgot. But no, we'll do that another day. Let's go into the mines because it is a really good luck day and it would feel a shame to waste that. Did I forget my weapons and stuff again? Yes. Shall I go back for them? No, because it's a festival day and it's going to be locked anyway. Let's see if we can do floor 100 by the time the Spirit's Eve starts. I'll bring a couple of bombs just in case. Well, that's a good start. We've got a mushroom floor. I mean, it's only red mushrooms so far, but still a mushroom floor. It's still foraging XP, ow. Plus, I'm probably just going to sell the red mushrooms, so it's extra money. Oh my god, another one? Wait, two in a row? This is so weird. Like, I'll take it, but I'm a little, I'm a little freaked out. I just realised as well, it's probably a good thing that I wasn't able to spend all my money today because there are a couple of things that I do need to buy from Spirit's Eve, and that'll be the rare crow and the jack-o'-lantern recipe, and those are going to cost me a good few grand, I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of shadow brutes. Um, I'm a little bit worried. No, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. Ah, go away, one monster at a time. Please form an orderly queue. Ooh, squid kids, I forgot about them. So I'm wondering if I could grab myself some squid ink today. We have three chances. No squid ink at all, that kind of sucks. Oh, well, it was worth a try. I am decently sure that floor 99 is a spiral, which I'm a little bit nervous about. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through that. This is floor 96. Oh no, we could do without that. Just take it easy, it's going fine. Ooh, strange one. And it's a cooked food as well, so that's actually really helpful down here. <laughs> Still no ladder. It's starting to look less and less likely. I've been on this floor for so long. There it is. Right, I've officially used all of my bombs, so I've got no further help from them. I just used all three of them on this floor. Not a single ladder to be found. I don't even have the ability to make more of them either, which sucks. Yep, 99 is the spiral floor. Oh gosh. Right, I have three hours. I think I'm just going to go and hit every rock as I go along. Oh, never mind. Slime helped us out, there we go. And it's star drop time. I think this is our second, right? And what's it gonna be? I think it was um surviving? Survival? Are we st staying alive? All of those are great things. Safety, okay, well, same vibe. We still have two hours before Spirit's Eve actually starts. I don't really want to tempt fate with trying to go down even more floors today, so let's sort out our storage here. Ooh, cold resist, that's gonna be good for winter. Grab all the foragey bits, the fish, our canteens. I'm going to have to go and fill those up because I'm not going to be able to do anything with the rain next season, which sucks. No rainwater, only filtered water. Oh, actually, I could go ahead and just jump in the water for a little bit. I haven't swum over here in a little while. That's almost always worth doing, even if just to dig random stuff up. Right, I think I've finished my little diving time just in time for Spirit's Eve, so let's hop out the water and get going down there. Ooh, looks like I've got to get some real monsters on the way. At least I can run freely around here without worrying about my hunger. 2,000 for the recipe and 5,000 for the rare crow? Okay, well, there go our hopes of the 10 grand bundle. Let's just get to the end of the maze. Of course, got to check on Harvey. Oh, you found me. The truth is, I got too scared, so I came here to hide. Don't tell anyone. I won't, don't worry. At least the monsters in this maze aren't real, I don't think. I've been fighting some real monsters. <laughs> Time to grab the golden pumpkin. Don't really know what to do with it. I mean, maybe I could just sell it, but I'm gonna keep it just in case I need it for something later. They are worth almost two grand and they're not really worth it for a love gift in this because it just won't count. In fact, I think that's my only golden pumpkin so far. So I will keep hold of it just in case. Oh, did not realize the yam juice was done. 247 gold, that's not bad. Let's go with pumpkin juice. That usually comes out pretty well. I can't believe that. I only shipped a few pumpkins off just for the sake of making up the 10 grand and then we spent like seven grand. So upsetting. Let's see what the queen of sauce has got. Artichoke dip. And then we've got our final full crops in the cave, which, okay, I mean, it's literally like a few corn, but that's fine. Not quite the super fun harvest that I was hoping. I mean, I suppose I did harvest most of it yesterday, but I was hoping a bit more of this corn and maybe the broccoli would be done too. We do have some mushrooms though, that's something. Now let's go see what the cart has brought today. 
Hopefully a truffle, because that's the only thing I really care about. Is that a mossy mushroom tree? Oh my gosh. I feel like I've never seen that before. Please have a truffle, I'm begging you. Oh, a tea sapling. I don't really need that, but... Oh, I need to go see Caroline. That was a good reminder, actually. Being a bad luck day would take it a lot easier, and um, obviously we need to grab the tear leaf. Ooh, more oak resin. Okay, that's that's a big deal. So we're now officially halfway there to our display thingamabob, which means like maybe two weeks. I mean, I could do with more tappers, definitely. Not worried that's on my mind right now, though. I wonder if I've got any last minute requests. We do have quite a few. Pine tar, that is very inconvenient. I have none. Of course, it's Clint that is that inconvenient, although nobody else has got anything. Oh my god, I'm not slaying 10 of those. Okay, that, this is a terrible quest day. Do a last minute check for seeds though, because I am gonna have to worry about these next year. Ooh, wheat. I wonder if Marnie ever has a chance of selling truffles. I never really thought of that. I should probably go check. Wait, now we have the cutscene? I'm so confused. There's the tea leaf though. Hi, good morning. I'm glad you came in. I've been meaning to show you this. It's my private sunroom. Cool, I've seen it now. Clint, you got anything good for me? I can't help you with your request, but I'm hoping for something good in here. There's another golden pumpkin. Maybe this one I can sell. I should probably say hello as well, I guess. Don't you have work to do? Oh. I really regret wasting my time and energy on rude old Clint. I'll do a quick final- oh. <laughs> Stuck on the bench there, I'll do a quick final Joja check. Got any good seeds for me today? Yam seeds? I'm gonna buy some for next year. My last chance to right now. And then... Yes, let's check Marnie's. I was gonna not do that, but what's the harm, right? If she happens to have some truffles for me, that'll be huge. What you got? I mean, plenty of the other stuff, but no truffles. That's okay though, that's still kind of a productive little trip around town. And yeah, I think I will just sell one of the golden pumpkins. At least I've still got one to spare. I'm still trying to talk myself in either direction of going to slay the shadow sh- wait. Shadow Shaman. Those are the more annoying ones. Yeah, maybe let's not do that. Actually, we'll go and do the things that I keep forgetting to do. So we're bringing the two swords and also the oars up to the mines. I have been meaning to do that for a while. By the time I got through all that, the Adventurous Guild should now be open. That's another, what is that, 600 gold? No, 700 gold. I have now got enough to make another tapper. I'm just trying to decide where I'd want to put it. I suppose I could make another oak resin tree on my farm. I just kind of like them all being out by the bus stop, although I could, I suppose, plant one out there. But then I have to wait for it to grow, and I really don't want to do that. Let me check the backwards. Ooh, a book! Combat experience. Let's grab it. Are there any oak trees out here, or are they all maple? I think they're all- oh no, here's an oak tree. Yes, in that case, let's do another tapper. Boom. I might not remember to harvest that one quite as much, but at least it's there. And I think that's mostly all I wanted to really do today. Let me go drop this iron ore off because let's not restart the habit of putting stuff in the wrong place. And to be fair, by the time I've done that, it's going to be mostly the evening time anyway. But I am going to be interested to see how the winter weather treats us. Like, I haven't got a clue what to expect there. What the debuffs might be. What have I got shoe-wise? I have got cold resist and the heat resisted help in the summer. So I'm hoping the 75% there that I've got. Oh no, and 25 on my hat, which is negated by my shirt. I'll figure some stuff out. I do have a little variety of clothes that we can pick through. Actually, all the shirts have minus 25% cold resist. That's not ideal. I think there is a shirt up by the mines. I might have to use that. Let's see how long this water's got. Oh, it's done. We'll grab all that. And then I'm going to head to bed early because I am so ready for a new season. And um, yeah, the final season of the year. Wait, before we do that, is there anything else I can pull out of my chest to just chuck in the shipping bin? Because like, still really trying to push towards this bus unlock. I do still need to ship a gold and an iron bar, so we'll get that done. I'm tempted to say goodbye to a good amount of these blackberries. Actually, no, I'm going to wait until we get the special, not the bears, bears knowledge. The thing that makes the berries more valuable, I'm going to wait till then. I could go with some of the pumpkins, but I don't, I don't really want to do that. But there's actually quite a lot more stuff to be adding to the shipping bin, so hopefully that should bring us quite a bit closer. I'm ready. I hope you're ready for winter, because I very much am. Let's see how much money we are going to start the new season off with. Or how much extra money, rather, and it's going to be... 3,749, so I think that's like double what we currently had. I was going to say we're not far off the next bundle in the vault, but what the real task is going to be is the 25 grand one. I don't know how we're going to do that, especially in the winter as well. We'll see what happens. I don't know if the format's going to be the same as what I did in Talman, or if it's going to continue as it is for the previous episodes for this winter. I'll kind of just have to see what I'm feeling next week. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, Thank you so much to my channel members, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!